Thursday night, the big game, Mercedes at Mission. Mission trying to get an outright district title and an undefeated season, but Mercedes was playing mission-like football. What that means, lots of defense, hard hitting, and causing turnovers. And in the end, it was Mercedes with a win as they claim a share of the tri-championship in District 32 4A. Yeah, well, we look, we, I mean, we knew missions, defense, I mean, those guys are fast and stuff like that. We preached all week to our boys, and why can't we do what they do? How come we can't be compared to what they've been doing? They create a lot of turnovers, and so do we. So we told, we told our guys all week, come out, play with some fire, and good things are going to be happening when you get around the ball. Hey, we're talking about 32-4A as we are back on Sunday Sports Extra, and let's uh, go ahead and start looking at the 32-4A playoff picture as it looks right now. Let's start with the teams that are in the playoffs from uh, 4A uh, Div Division Two by district. It is Alice at Mercedes. This game is at 7:30 on Friday. Uh, Medina Valley and Cal Allen are the next two on the list, and Cedar Park is waiting for whoever comes in next on that one. So Mercedes, even though they avoid Cal Allen in the first first round, they still get them in the second round. And of course, we need to talk about the fact what uh, what uh, Corpus Christi Miller did on Friday in their complete upset of Ray, which completely upset the 32-4A picture, guys. Uh, everybody was set. Mission was going to play Nixon. Uh, Mission Veterans was going to play Ray. Uh, Alice was going to take on Ed Calchelsa. And Mercedes was going to have to take on Flower Bluff. Now, it's Flower Bluff at Mission Veterans. And Mercedes now gets Alice instead. Yeah, well, I, I know David Gilpin's not a, was probably the least happy of this thing because uh, you know he's looking at playing a team that's undefeated and I know that when he called in uh, his game the other day he, he was he was pretty mad and but that's just the way it goes I mean it's just one of those things you got to let the season play out and then you figure out who you're gonna play absolutely let's take a look at those uh, playoff matchups if we can uh, for 32 4 a there's your Alice and Mercedes uh, like we said Cal Allen waiting in the second round Cedar Park in the third round that's been death to Valley teams in the third round in 4a next up it is uh, Corpus Christi Miller who gets in an incredible upset now they've got to be at Ed Calchelsa on Friday and waiting in the wings for the Jackets, their old friends, the Sand Crabs from Port Lavaca, Calhoun. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the third round, it's San Antonio Brennan uh, waiting in the th for them, and that is the toughest bracket in 4A Region 2 and Region uh, 4. Uh, oh, in Division 1, it's Flower Bluff at Mission Veterans, and instead of Coach Gilpin getting uh, you know Ray on a Friday, and now they get 10-0 Flower Bluff on a Thursday. That is tough. Next up, it's Harlandale or Victoria East with Leander, number seven in the state, waiting in the wings in the third round. And Ray at Mission, now on Friday at Tom Landry Stadium. The winner of that game will most likely get Gregory Portland and then perhaps the Mules of Alamo Heights in the third round. So uh, interesting the way the 32-4A playoff picture looks. Uh, David, of all of our Valley teams in 4A, who do you think has the best shot to make it the furthest? I do not know. because, <laughs> Well, you know, this is a, this is a tough region. It yeah. always has been historically and it doesn't matter how, you know, if you, if you get past the first round, you're going to get a tough match in the second round. And it's, I, I don't know if anyone has an advantage or is going to go the furthest or has an advantage to go the furthest. I just think it's going to be tough all the way through. Mission and what and their their loss on Friday night. What does this do to them? Uh, does it pump them up for the playoffs? Are they now exposed a little bit? Uh, they seem to have uh, the best shot at making it the furthest in four. Just from what you look at on the bracket. I thought so too going into that game, but I saw a shell shocked football team out there that was looking around saying, "What's going on here?" And if they carried that into the playoffs, then no, they don't have much of a chance. But um, they they need to find that mission team that played prior to the Mercedes game. Mercedes put it to them. All right, guys, that's our 4A look. Coming up next on Sunday Sports Extra, we're going to look at 3A, and McAllen Rowe was not the only team who had to win in overtime in order to make the playoffs. We'll talk about that, plus make our picks for the 3A playoffs. It's all when we come back.